Hey guys, in this session, we're going to be looking at calculating gradient given the y value. So these are the four questions we're going to be looking at. And um, so yeah, so let's get started. Uh, by the way, if you're kind of like coming into this video just out of nowhere, uh, there is a series that you can follow uh, in my channel. There's a playlist about uh, for level two calculus. And so it just kind of follows that series. But in a jargon, let's get to question one. Now, what I've done is I've actually um, drawn the graph here as well as a side by side so that you guys can see what's happening. So in the first question, what we want to know is uh, to find the gradient where y equals to 9 for this graph y equals x squared. So that's the red parabola right there. So our first step is to try and figure out what the x values are. Uh, and the reason we need to do this is because remember that when we differentiate x squared, we are going to get 2x. All right, but the problem is that we've actually been given uh, the y value, which is nine. So we actually need to figure out um, for what values of x is y nine. So what we need to do is on the side here, we're gonna write down x squared is equal to nine, and then x is equal to square root of nine, which of course is gonna be plus or minus three. And as you can see, uh, there's the minus three there, and then the plus three is there. So that gives that coordinate of three, nine, and negative 3 positive 9 okay so we're actually finding two um, gradients uh, because there's going to be two points in this case so the first case is I'm gonna put it for f dash of 3 so in that case I'm gonna get 2 times 3 which is equal to 6 and then the second case I'm gonna put it as negative 3 uh, which means I'm gonna get 2 times negative 3 which equals to negative 6 so just to kind of clarify here so the 6 the gradient uh, that is 6 is along there so as you can see it is positive and it's going up and it's fairly steep so we can kind of say it's more than one and then if you look at the minus 6 that's actually on this side here so that's the the gradient on that point negative uh, 3 positive 9 okay so let's go to the next question so the next question what we have is y equals x cubed and then we want to find out what's the gradient when uh, the y value is 27. So the first step is that putting it uh, x cubed is equal to 27 to figure out what our x value is. And we're going to put that as x uh, equals uh, 27 cube root of 27. Uh, just a bit of a revision there for you guys if you've forgotten this. So this could be written as 27 to the power of one third. And when you put this in the calculator, I might as well show it to you guys here uh, just as a quick bit of revision with your powers so 27 to the power of one third just make sure you put one third in a bracket and you should get three so x is equal to three in this case so once we figure out what x is the next step is to figure out what the gradient function is so we've been given the function which is y equals x cubed so I'm going to rewrite that as f of x is equal to x cubed so when I differentiate it, I'm going to get f dash of x, which is going to give me 3x squared. Uh, now I need to find out what the gradient is at the point 3, when x equals to 3. So in this case, I'm going to get 3 times 3 squared, which is equal to 27. Very strange that the gradient is also 27 and the y value is 27. But um, it doesn't matter because as you can see, 27 is right that's the gradient right there and it's really steep so yeah so i think i'm pretty happy with that all right so let's go to question number three so in three what we have is we've got this parabola y equals x squared minus four and we want to find out what the gradients are where the curve crosses the x-axis all right so what we are trying to find out is those uh, gradients at those two blue points now you can actually, I mean, looking at the graph here, you can kind of pick off the point straight away. But in other words, how we do this when we don't see the graph is that when it crosses the x-axis, we can say that y is equal to zero. So that means we can say that x squared minus four is equal to zero. And at this point, you, you need to factorize uh, this. So when we factorize this, we are gonna get x plus two, x minus two equals to zero. And we can say that therefore x is equal to why does this always happen where we go x is equal to positive 2 or negative 2 and as you can see there's negative 2 there and then there's positive 2 there so now we need to find out what the gradients for those at those two points are so we've got the function which is x squared minus 4 
Then we differentiate it. So we're going to get f dash of x is equal to 2x. Uh, the 4 becomes a 0. Then I need to figure out what f dash of 2 is. So the gradient at 2 is going to be 2 times 2, which equals to 4. And then the gradient at negative 2. So I'm going to get 2 multiplied by negative 2, which is going to give me negative 4. And as you can see, the gradient of 4 is right there. And the gradient of negative 4 is along there. All right, guys, uh, that's question three done here. One more example for the road. So this is um, slightly different here, but um, still the same principle. So we've got a function x minus three and x plus one, and we want to find out what's the gradient where y is equal to negative four. So with that in mind, our first step we need to figure out is uh, what is the x value when y equals negative four. Now looking at the graph, we can see that it is equal to one, but how do we actually prove it. So we've got our equation, which is x minus 3, x plus 1. And now this is equal to minus 4. So we're trying to figure out for what values of x is y negative 4. So we need to expand the brackets. So you know, whether you use FOIL, whatever method you choose, guys, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to write this down as x squared plus x minus 3x minus 3 equals minus 4. So simplifying this, I'm going to get x squared minus 2x equals minus, oh, I want to bring uh, the 4 to the left-hand side, so it becomes plus 4. And all of this is equal to 0. So I'm going to get x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals to 0. And when I factorize this, I'm going to get x minus 1, x minus 1 equals to 0. And I can say that, therefore, x is equal to positive 1. And as you can see, there it is when it's positive one. Now, doing this also helps with um, the function itself because um, when we differentiate, we still have to expand the brackets, right? So we're going to write the function as, where's my simplified version? My simplified version is this part right here, all right? I'm not worried about the plus four, but I just need to worry about the x squared minus two x minus three because that's what this two brackets expands to. So I'm going to write that down, x squared minus 2x minus 3. And when I differentiate it, I'm going to get f dash of x is equal to 2x minus 2. So if I find the gradient at 1, I'm going to get 2 times 1 minus 2, which equals to 0. And as you can see, we are on the right track because the gradient along this line is going to be zero and it's also known as something as turning point which we will talk about later all right guys that's basically it for this video as always don't forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to keep up with the latest content there should be some tutorials starting very soon uh, also some playlists popping up check them out good revision material and as always thank you for watching